let's take a look at how to add music and sound effects to our iMovie project. Music can dramatically change the mood and tone of your movie, and you're free to drag in any MP3 iTunes music that you want into iMovie. And iMovie itself comes with tons of professionally performed musical pieces, as well as a huge library of sound effects. So you're almost always sure to find something that will enhance your movie project. So now let's see how we do this. We're going to start with the sound effects here. Now looking at my waveforms here, I can see that my sound levels are pretty inconsistent. Only the interview clips have sound. All others are complete silence. One trick you can sometimes employ is to lay in a bed of sound effects to provide more unity and consistency between your clips. To find a sound effect, you go to this audio tab, and you can choose your sound effects from iTunes if you purchase any from iTunes, or you can go to the GarageBand for the sound effects or music that you produce to yourself. Uh, now we will go to the sound effects because this is the library that provided by iMovie. And now you click on um, the folder, you will find that there are tons of effects uh, available here. If you didn't uh, see it shown, just give it a few seconds, it will load it up. And depending on what software you have installed, like I have Final Cut Pro sound effects because I have a license of Final Cut Pro. Um, and it, sometimes you will see the iLife sound effects if, uh, if you have previous iMovie installed. And the sound effects folder is the current one for um, the iMovie. And you see you can preview the sound effects by click on this play button. And it also shows you the duration for the sound effect. Now let's find a sound effect that will work for our project. So now it's a complete silence at the beginning. Um, so I want some sound effects that will uh, simulate that there's a ship crossing the sea. Uh, so I will search here, um, ship and see if anything comes up. And I will go to the effects folder so I can find all relevant effects. Now let's preview these. I don't think this works. Not this one. Oh, this is pretty good. You see, um, definitely simulate that there's a heavy sea and the ship is crossing. I think it works pretty well for our project. So I will just drag it to where I want. The clip will automatically attach to the beginning of the clip. And I can shorten it because I think I want to end to um, the end of this clip. Okay, let's hear it and see how it feels. Pretty good, huh? Now it really feels like um, you're immersive in this environment. There's a ship crossing the heavy sea. You can also adjust the volume like we just did in the previous um, movie by just dragging the line. And usually sound effects, you don't want to make it too loud. So I think that's fine. And you can also layer multiple sound effects. For example, here, um, other than simulating this ship in, uh, crossing the sea, usually, you know, on the sea, you also hear like a sea seagulls um, chirping. So maybe let's see if we can find something similar. Um, yeah, we, we do have seagulls that hear it. Okay, so I will drag it here. You see that I can definitely layer multiple clips together. Um, and I will probably lower it a little bit. And let's hear the effect. Great, I think it makes it more authentic uh, for these, the beginning. Um, However, I also find it helpful, uh, even for the interviews, uh, to add some background sound effects to make it more authentic. So, for example, I can drag this one to my interviews, um, and I just wanted you to hear my interviews without the sound effects first. Extremely nervous about this dive. You see that I don't really have any background um, ambient uh, sound here. And now if I added the seagulls. Sea house and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Today I'm going on a shark dive. 
I think it make it more real. So I like it like this. So that's how you can add sound effects. Now let's see how we can add the background music because um, the best way to fill out all these gaps without sound is to add a background music. Um, and similarly that iMovie has a library of theme music that you can choose from. Um, these are all the theme music and you can play it. Okay, uh, but I already have a music that I prepare myself um, in, in my uh, Shark Dive footage. And so I will just drag it to my timeline. And here uh, you notice that I don't want to really attach it to um, any of the clip. I want it to drag it to, there's a section here. You see there's a section just indicating for background music. I want to drag it over there. And I will explain why I do so uh, in a minute. Okay, so now I have a background music. Let's play it and hear how it is sound. Okay, sounds pretty good. Music can really affect the tone and the mood of your project. Uh, but two very different pieces of music can create two very different moods. Uh, for example, um, I prepared another one just to for you to compare. Let's drag this one instead and I want you to hear it and see what's the difference. So you can definitely feel that the first one is more relaxing, but the second one feels more intense. So that's how I mean that the music can really affect the tone and the mood of your project. So definitely take some time to uh, choose the appropriate music for your own project. Okay, so I will place down my background music here. Uh, now an important part to note here is that the way I've been adding uh, the sound effects uh, is by keeping the sound effects attached to a clip. Uh, so once you've attached the audio file to a clip, it it stays with that clip. Even if you move the clip to a different location in your project. For example, I can rearrange and you find that my audio clips is actually move, um, is moving with my clip. However, that may be a problem for our background music since we need to keep it playing continuously throughout our movie and we don't want the music to be affected when we rearrange our clips. Uh, that's why I put the background music to the music section. Uh, you can see that it is not attached to any of the clips here. That's why when I rearrange any of the clip, it doesn't really affect my background music here. So now we've added some sound effects in the music. Um, you see, we definitely have some problem with our background music. So in the next movie, we will take a look at how to perform more advanced adjustment to our background music to make the project sounds better.